Did you know this miracle in American history? After the amazing evacuation from Brooklyn Heights, Washington sought to know the British plans. So 21-year-old Nathan Hale volunteered as a spy. He was caught and hung. His last words were, I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country. The Continental Army was chased out of New York, across New Jersey, and into Pennsylvania. In six months, ranks dwindled from 20,000 to 2,000 exhausted soldiers who were planning on leaving at year's end, as they had only enlisted for six months. Philadelphia was in panic, expecting a British invasion. The Continental Congress packed up and fled, giving their last instructions, until Congress shall otherwise order, General Washington shall be possessed of full power to order and direct all things. Washington had Thomas Paine's pamphlet, The American Crisis, read to his troops. These are the times that try men's souls. The summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will in this crisis shrink from their service of their country. Tyranny like hell is not easily conquered, yet we have this consolation with us that the harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. Heaven knows how to put a proper price on its goods, and it would be strange indeed if so celestial an article as freedom should not be highly rated. Thomas Paine's pamphlet continues, In the 15th century, the whole English army was driven back by a few broken forces headed by a woman, Joan of Arc. Would that heaven might inspire some Jersey maid to spirit up her countrymen. With the password for his military operation being victory or death, Washington's troops crossed the ice-filled Delaware River on Christmas Day evening in a blizzard, trudging through blinding snow with one soldier freezing to death on the march. They attacked Trenton, New Jersey at daybreak, December 26th of 1776. The feared German Hessian mercenary troops hired by King George III were trained to fight in an open field and were not prepared for Americans firing from behind every tree. The Americans captured nearly a thousand in just over an hour and only a few wounded ones, one of them being James Monroe, the future fifth president. After winning the Battle of Trenton, British General Cornwallis sent his 8,000-man British Army to attack Washington near Princeton, New Jersey. The night before the battle, Washington left his campfires burning and silently marched his army around the back of the British camp at Princeton. At daybreak, January 3rd, 1777, the British charged into an empty camp. Washington attacked them from behind. At one point, American troops under John Cadawalder retreated. Washington quickly rode over, stopped the retreat, then rode ahead of his troops to within 30 yards of the British. Turning and facing his men, he yelled, halt, then fire. The British returned the fire, filling the field with smoke. Many thought Washington was surely shot, being exposed to fire from both sides. But when the air cleared, Washington appeared, waving his men forward. Three British regiments were captured. Enthusiasm swept America. Frederick the Great of Prussia called the 10 days from December 26, 1776 to January 3, 1777, the most brilliant in the world's history. Yale President Ezra Stiles stated in an election address before Connecticut General Assembly, in our lowest and most dangerous estate, we sustained ourselves against the British Army of 60,000 troops, commanded by the ablest generals Britain could procure throughout Europe, with a naval force of 22,000 seamen and above 80 men of war. Independence was now sealed and confirmed by God Almighty in the victory of General Washington at Trenton and in the surprising movement and battle of Princeton. Who but a Washington inspired by heaven could have struck out the great movement and maneuver at Princeton. The United States are under peculiar obligations to become a holy people unto the Lord our God. It's important for us to remember these miracles. America is unique in world history, and we remind ourselves of these miracles in American history.